After three long years, the Wyquat City's rowing team has returned to the Saratoga Invitational Sprints in Saratoga, New York. Hosted by the Saratoga Rowing Association, the regatta is held on the last weekend of April and both days are filled with exciting, highly competitive 1500 meter racing. Top teams from all around the Northeast are invited to attend. The massive programs like Community Rowing from Boston, Massachusetts send the best of their 600 junior athletes to compete at the event. For many of these programs, the Saratoga Invitational is the first test of their boat lineups before regional championships. Held on the pristine Fish Creek portion of the Saratoga Lake, the venue is overlooked by rolling hills filled with coniferous trees and races can be observed from a bridge crossing the water by the finish line. Wyquat City's journey to the regatta is one that is much different from most of the participating clubs. The special relationship that Wyquat City has with the Saratoga Rowing Association grants them privileges like parking their boat trailer in the Saratoga Boathouse parking lot and launching from the Saratoga docks, as well as access to the Saratoga Rowing Association Boathouse. I'm super excited that we're here racing in Saratoga, New York. You know, it's great to be seeing these people again after a few years and racing against a lot of clubs. The first day of racing kicks off with the boys' singles who swept all three heats. In between races, technique and rigging expert Jamie Whalen helps check the boats so that they are in tip-top shape for racing. Then, the girls put up impressive numbers in their singles race with a gold and bronze finish. In the afternoon, a hearty tailwind opened up and the boys took gold by a boat length of open water. Then, the girls' quad won a tight race against CRI down to the buzzer. After a team dinner, a good night's rest, and some studying for AP exams, racing resumes with the girls' singles. Both the girls' and boys' singles did well, earning first place finishes in each event. Then the girls' and boys' doubles continued the pattern with two more gold medals. After a short rest came the most important events of the regatta for the club. Both boys' and girls' quads qualified for the A finals on Sunday, and tight racing was to follow. First was a girls' quad who won the race by a half a length. Later in the afternoon, a direct headwind began to blow and the boys' quad won their race by open water again. We were de-rigged, the trailer was loaded, and it was time to head home. The 2022 Saratoga Invitation was a great success for the club as they had an excellent showing. Even though they are a smaller club compared to the East Coast teams, they won a total of 13 gold medals and proved that they will be contenders for the Youth National Championships approaching in June. For Pleasant Valley Spartan Shield, I'm Cable Wager.